Hello and welcome to the Any% Pro League Playoff Semi-Finals from Cool Cat Gaming. I'm Cinefusic. I'm Trey Mathis. I, I didn't know I was going to get trade off. Hi. <laughs> oh, and, you know, you're passing to me. <laughs> and uh, today we have a very interesting race between uh, Dansta and Buster Doggy. Uh, Dansta has been running Any% consistently for many, many years and uh, Buster Doggy, mainly known as a Koopa Free Running Grandmaster, picked up any percent a couple years ago and has improved very quickly. So, two different types of players we've got going on here. It should be a very fun watch. Yeah, and as we're just getting these, uh, the runners set up here, um, I, I'm, I'm curious as how, how they're feeling. How are you guys doing? Buster Doggy, dancing. I'm feeling pretty good about this race. I think it'll be pretty close, honestly. That's Should be what fun. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Those races are always exciting. Even yeah. though they like absolutely like suck for your own merch <laughs> while playing. Yeah. But <laughs> still still fun. Alright. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't usually do questions beforehand. I just give a how you doing and send you off. So unless Cindy has more, I don't know. Nah, I'm I'm good. That's, All right, cool. Good. Well, good luck to both of you. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck, Dancer. Good luck. All right. I've said it many times. I am very bad at interviews. <laughs> It's it's tough. All it right. is it's not an easy thing to do. Well, it seems like both runners are ready, so I guess we can do a countdown. Or actually, how does does it how does this work with DSTA offset? Oh, it's taken care of completely in Okay. So you, you cool. don't we don't worry about any of that. That's awesome. We just, we just watch. <laughs> I, haven't done one these, I haven't done one of these in a little while. So yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, you, we don't we don't worry about any of that. <laughs> that is um, that is awesome. But you can use uh, the stat sheet there. That'll help out um, in case the restream is off sync. Uh, the 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 stat sheet should be actually synced up. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, provided they're both using it, which I believe they are. Um, so yeah, it, it's all done by the run.gg, uh, plugin, so, perfect, uh, it's, it works, it just works. <laughs> very, very nice. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll see it on splits, of course, we can't see, like, the current time. <laughs> right. All right. I'm and, glad. yeah, it's great, and Anime promised they would start the timer and did not there it is <laughs> there we go you know what close close counts so this is gonna this is gonna be an interesting one we have a less than 20 less than 20 second pb difference i don't know how these runners feel about their pbs but either way they are both extremely skilled runners um yeah. Oh, that is well. Yep. That is exactly what you do not want within the first thirty seconds of this round. Yeah. Run. Yeah. I um, mean, I will also say that Buster Doggy was a bit late to start with his uh, inputs. So, like, part of me is like, can we just like just do it over again? But I, I think we're a bit past that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Sometimes in life you got Roblox, right? So sometimes Roblox. So in life you got Roblox. <laughs> in life we got Roblox. <laughs> sometimes things don't exactly work out how you. <laughs> yeah. It's not okay. It's not too much of a difference. This is that's not the that's far from the worst mistake you could make in one of these food runs. That's the kind of yeah. mistake you can absolutely laugh at. Yeah. Well, Buster Doggy messing up left side. So there, yeah. it, it seems both of our runners have a bit of jitters to work out at the start. Cap can be 
cap can be rough sometimes. Resets and cap are not uncommon. I, I think we're just both at a case of like, it's been a while since we've had semifinals. Yeah. You know, I think both players, you know, maybe there's some nerves going around. I don't know. Yeah, for sure. And if you want to up the stakes, you can do that too. <laughs> I'm curious. Yeah, I... I'm curious. How big is that pool right now? I'm curious. I'm looking at it. <laughs> it's still at 116. Okay. It's been there for a few weeks now. Very nice. Seeing, seeing prize pools for tournaments of, like, not huge games like this is always really nice to see. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it shows you how much, unfortunately, we're still, like, as much as we like to think that we're still, we are somewhat of a bigger game, we are. We're a pretty popular game on SRC still. Sony <sighs> Star. SM64 in League still got that $500 prize pool, and I'm just like looking at it like, damn. <laughs> yeah. Coming up on DSS here, Buster is not going to go for it, which is extremely respectable. Uh, 10 seconds is a lot of time when you're at this skill level, but in a race setting, definitely um, worth considering to take the more consistent strat for something like that. Oh, Dance but misses the, a rib the jump, the but rib rib jump. Ripcage oh, that jump. is quite unfortunate. Gonna be going for it again. And at that point, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean getting the pixel done. Done. twice in a row. That yeah. practice before the run seems to be paying yeah. off. But so, basically lost the that. time save from it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Not really gonna be the second try DSS. I mean,. Blocking on rib after might mean a little more t time loss, but as long as you can get it second try, you're basically gonna break even. So that's that's nice at least. Yeah, and I think he roughly did. <laughs> All right, and then there's really not much more in Cascade. We're chilling. So I'm interested uh, to see what these runners' sands are going to look like, because obviously um, both runners, I would imagine, are probably going to be going for the platform clip strat, um, but I'm not sure, because again, that only saves about four seconds, and I'm not sure how consistent that is for top runners, but I don't think it's like... I think for it's sand, one of the... For sand kingdom? You mean? Yeah. Uh, pretty much everyone's implemented that at this point. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't seem. It, it seems like one of the one of the easier strats to go for. Yeah, definitely I mean, everyone in the league has implemented it. I, I mean, I can't of course speak for like it's like the standard boards at this point, but yeah, yeah, definitely in the league, everyone's been going for it. Interesting. And then, um, I guess it uh, probably. Not much, not too much variation outside of that, other than like reverse town, maybe, but that's like, yeah, the, that's like yes. the 0.5 time saves. Yeah, that, that's the main route difference in sand is, is reverse town or not. I believe we'll be seeing reverse town from both players, though. Yeah, clean, clean from Buster. Very, very nice. Um... We're kind of, we're kind of chilling in this beginning portion of Sand.
Okay. Yeah, the man, yep, makes sense. Manuel DSDA yeah. from Dansta, given sure. the given the death in cap and the yeah, g given all the mistakes that we've seen in the previous two kingdoms so far, it's needed. Unfortunate that you can take another small time loss like that just because you missed something in the beginning, but you know, yeah, not too not too much loss there. Buster Doggy was a little bit late on that bird, nearly missed it. Was able to get it though. Insane down throw roll cancel there. Mm -hmm. Okay, much, nothing. Much, yeah, much cleaner Hyano bird from Dansta. Yeah, nothing catastrophic gonna be having happening here in the first two minutes. Alright, we are coming up on Dram. I do wonder, I don't think either of these runners are going to be going for Reverse Dram. No, yeah, Reverse Dram is it's, Reverse Dram is not used. Yeah, that doesn't all. seem that doesn't seem like a very race-friendly strat. Oh, oh, Buster missing oh. the crate and the bullet is running away. Actually, no, it's turning back around. <laughs> so it could still be grabbed. <laughs> it's just, okay. oh, perhaps oh, a new one. For a new one. Yeah, yeah okay, sense. that's fair. But I did just notice that bullet bill in the background had turned around, so I was like, you, you could still yeah. go for that one. <laughs> it, it hasn't completely given up yet. Now, I don't think that messes with the platform clip cycle, but as I have shown, I don't know very much about the strat, so I could be wrong. Okay. Yeah, I, I tend to not know too much about the actual, like, how to manipulate this correctly, but I do know that they are manipulating it, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah. As far as my knowledge. Looking at, looking at what Dance is doing, Depp, turning the camera up there. And we'll see if uh, this works out for Buster. Yeah. Uh, looks like, yeah, looks like a little late, but not going to matter too much at all. Made the clip just fine. Or a little early, I'm not sure what you would say there. Dansta has, I believe, ideal timing for what they, uh, what he wanted here. Yeah, absolutely. All right, nice spot from Court from both runners. It's very cool when time saves like that are found that save a decent chunk of time and aren't, like, absurdly difficult in every way, you know? They're just kind of yeah. chill. <laughs> it's, it's rare nowadays. <laughs> It's what also is rare is for Sand Kingdom to be the smoothest part of early game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, pretty pretty good sand from both runners. All things considered, not nothing like nothing devastating, and it's going to be a, a similar difference going into Lake. Yeah, icicle clip was insane. Ice clip. Yeah. That was that was always fun to watch in BTT. Now we don't. Mm. Now we don't get that. But you know, that was that was a pretty insane theoretical strat. Yeah, because this cause platform clip is also still bad because you can manipulate the platform to be like instantly ready for you. Yeah. Icicle uh -oh. clip is going. Oh, you still do is, it? That is cool to hear. I'm actually very happy about that, because that that strat was always really fun to watch. It is fun. I, I am waiting on, like, when the next BTC, uh, BTT premiere is. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. hope it's soon. Okay. I wonder if... Any triple jump like Oh, okay. Yes. He's going for it. Attempts are done. Whether or not it works is another story. Oh, okay. Works for Buster Dog. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna save a few seconds there. Mm -hmm. Nothing like insanely major, but very very cool strat to pull out. It, it looks so swag. Missing, but, like, no it it looks incredibly swag when you get it right. It does. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly like that. You can, if you, it's the kind of trick where if you miss it, you can just go do late clip and you're chilling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why 
anyone who's fairly confident with it just uh, just tries it. Yeah, yeah. I, I always like seeing that stuff like this is the goal of that we shot for when we released BTT because in my mind I'm like didn't you say that for like the previous minute <laughs> 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 like I thought I thought the goal was sub 54 or sub 55 was like yeah sub 54 was the next time you'd release it and then here we are and you're like no it's it's, it's when it gets to 53. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Buster hitting a hitting a queen camera clip there. I had previously thought that only saved like frames, but apparently it's like a solid 0.5. So pretty nice. Yeah. Good, good Lake Kingdoms. Now we're now we're gonna be heading into Wooded, everyone's favorite, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's There's, fun to watch. It, it it is very fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, Wooded is something you're going to want to be focusing on the most in races, because there is just so much that can go so wrong, but these are th these are high-level players who are very consistent, yeah. so it's very possible that we will be seeing some cool stuff going on, especially with the three moon clips in this kingdom that uh, well, are possible now. I'll, I'll save you some I'll, I'll help your expectations a little bit. No one does maze clips. Okay. <laughs> I, I was wondering if, no. any, if any of these no one does that. pulling that out. <laughs> no. All the other ones, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, either way, there is a lot of potential for really cool stuff in this kingdom and a lot of potential for... Yeah, no one typically uh, goes for it. I, I, um, if if it happens, it's a surprise. Because yeah. apparently Buster has gone for it before. I don't recall Buster going for it before. Right, makes sense. I wasn't sure how comparable Maze Clip and Pipes Clip were in difficulty. Um, pipe Pipes Clip is still pretty difficult. It is actually a frame perfect uh, clip, but it you, it's kind of similar to what you were saying. Uh, before with late clip, in that if you miss it, you pretty much are still on cycle, so you're fine. Ah, uh, yeah, makes sense. Buster Doggy having a little bit of challenge with the out of bounds movement, but making it just fine, which is what you want because it can go so much worse there. And just like staying alive and getting into the right spot is really what you really want you want to be focusing on. Dance to warping left a little bit, but I think he's fine. Yeah, he's chilling. Cool. And Buster, okay. wanting to prove me wrong, goes for okay. Goes for the maze clip. <laughs> Misses yeah, it. Doesn't look like he's gonna be getting it, but very. <laughs> I respect the attempt. Yes, me too. <laughs> I have noticed that before as well. The runners are actively listening to this stuff, so I so if I say they're not gonna do this thing, they might attempt it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, that's look at that, Dance to also attempts. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah, neither runner gonna be proving us wrong today. Right. We <laughs> made a valiant effort. I am going to use this power um, responsibly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a, you could you could incite some incidents with that for sure. Well, I, I do know there are certain tricks that I could mention that they definitely won't go for under any yeah. circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, yeah. Buster flying through here. Both runners doing doing a really good job with this wooded overall. There have been some uh, small little awkward moments, but nothing like definitely nothing major. Buster heading into pipes, having a bit of a hiccup there, but going for pipes clip. Misses it, okay. goes for the second attempt. This is where we're no longer on cycles. So, right, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, now you're just committed to getting it. <laughs> okay. And, and is able to pull it off, too. All right, third try, but got the clip. Very nice. And deaths are going to be trying to catch up here, heading into pipes. Don't worry, Lucene, I have plans. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta wait for the appropriate kingdom to say something, and I'm not gonna say it this early. <laughs> Dance to taking a couple of bonks before this, but showing off the pipes movement and getting the clip. Nice. First that, try. I, was, nice. I was afraid that might have been a fake clip. But yeah, getting that first try is really nice to see. Yeah, for sure. Very, very, very clean to watch when you can pull it off. Mm -hmm. Buster almost getting within no cap bounce distance, but not going to risk it, of course. Very, very nice cloud boost there. Getting the hint, I had to adjust a little bit, but he got it just fine. Alright, well... Oh, oh no. Not far out enough on the triple jump. Not gonna be a huge deal, but... Yeah. That's one of those little things that uh, could give Dance to the opportunity to catch up if they keep adding up, but... We'll just have to wait and see. Dancer heading for the hen art as well. Nice. I will point out we are four, about 44 seconds apart now. With Buster. Yeah. So a, a considerable difference for sure. This will. Yeah. Dance likely. did point out in the chat that he did lose a significant amount of time just in that kingdom alone. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to recall exactly what went wrong in that kingdom to cause that. There was there were some there was some um, awkward the awkwardness after getting out of the maze and um, oh, okay. uh, leading up to leading up to pipes. I, th I think there were I think there were a couple bonks, but yeah, uh, yeah. But Dansta is able to catch up from Cloud Kingdom, given that Buster did get um, did have to go through four cycles. Yeah, or four phases absolutely. essentially. Yeah, yeah, going to be gaining a little bit of that time. Buster unfortunately needing to go back to trigger Klepta. That's uh, the risk you take with the, the roll cancel movement. Forgive me yeah. if you didn't actually go for that, I'm just assuming. Nope. Uh, Klept the Kleptomaniac? Uh, is that what it's called? Where they go off the left side and like jump into the range of Klepto. Yeah, I think yeah, so. That's yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's an amazing trick name. Yes, it's great. Oh, missing the cage! Oh, no. Oh, and just like that, just with those, just with one tiny little thing, that is a tragic mistake, but gonna be yeah. able to head back, of course. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting round. The cage is open still, so can that go is... to this two under the bridge and then die. That's a, that's a good silver lining. Going, having yeah. to go back and trigger the torpedo again is just a whole ordeal. Mm-hmm. yeah. 
that's gonna be that's gonna be giving Danster a little bit more of an edge here for sure. Oh, and bulking oh. on the cage! No, the edge that was there is lost. Although I think got the sim the same result in that the cage is broken still. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, okay, yeah. cool. It did blow up before he died. Okay. okay. <laughs> so the same result. <laughs> Just when you think. <laughs> Man. Well, that is... That's gonna set things back a little bit. Wild start to the semifinals, for sure, yeah. I mean, yeah, we've, we've, had, some, uh, we've had some interesting kingdoms this... This whole time. Well, um, we're on a bit of a roller coaster here. <laughs> Dance to response with this race is stupid. That is one way of putting it. Moving through Night Metro here, Buster not gonna risk it with that long jump. Just going for the cat bounce. Heading into City Hall. Nice. Getting the uh, advanced Goomba strategy. That we that we all know and love. Oh, Dansta messing up on the movement here to get over the girder sandwich. Yeah, how many readjust? The main thing uh, to, I think, to be worried about here for Dansta is just staying composed. Uh, despite the circumstances, you know. I that's mean... A, that's a big thing in races. I mean, uh, uh, you could say that about both sides in some ways. I mean... That's also very true. It, it's not like Dan uh, Buster's been playing perfectly. Right, of course. Let's see, let's see what our wiggler pattern is going to look like here. We also have that command if you want to go look those up, but I, I don't know if do you have them memorized, Cindy? I don't know you. Oh, <laughs> um, no. Okay. <laughs> I, Ooh, I have is... no idea. <laughs> yes, and, and me putting the command in chat to show that we do have that sheet linked because we reference it a bunch. It's just a cool sheet, honestly. Like, there's enough stats, people in CCG that were just like, yeah, that's that's a cool sheet. That does a lot of stat stuff. Let's just let's just link it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, f I think that's probably one of the coolest um, resources Odyssey has gotten in yeah. a couple years. Dansta going for the back first. Okay. Nice. Clean wiggler. Um... Buster yeah, had a had a bit of trouble getting some of the bubbles. That's one of the small things he can take advantage of. Yes, the faster two cycle from Dansta. Buster hitting a chill drive by. Very nice. Metro isn't gonna get too intense until we get into bullet building, which is not gonna it's not gonna be very long, obviously. <laughs> but it's crazy. It, oh, the amount of BTT know. viewers we have in chat right uh, up chat in chat right now makes it so that a lot of jokes are happening about it. <laughs> <They're just> like... <laughs> <Right. laughs> no double DSTA. 
no, neither runner going to be draining their switch batteries mm -hmm. uh, to yeah. to get a second seed in Metro Kingdom that saves. Oh God, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be like seconds, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, Dance that messed up on drive by. Had to get it on the. Had to do a, a like half a lap around the around the cage. Yeah, I had to turn around. Danza seems to be able to uh, back up his mistakes pretty well, but uh, definitely not as clean as he'd probably like. Let's see what... Alright, Buster... Classic bullet building. Just fine. Yeah, there's a different bullet build manipulation that's been... Come in some more common practice. Oh, Gansta barely missing the moon on slots. That is just that is just really unfortunate. Missing slots, I would imagine, is probably one of the most painful mistakes for a top runner. Because you have all this like really difficult movement and then it's like, ah, oh, if I you know, if you miss slots, it's like It is a smaller window than people realize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially the more, uh, like, no, like, I'm um, not the more slots that you have to hit. I don't, I don't know what to call it. The more, sl I mean, yeah, you're that, that's what they would be. I think, I, I think, I, I mean, I think I'm telling her, yeah, okay. So, by the way, Dance did the movement I was talking about before, Different right? Uh, manipulation, yeah, the, the bounce first, but yes, uh. Like, the one in Luncheon is actually the smallest window of all of them. Because there's five right, that yeah. you have to hit. Yeah, and definitely. Buster, failing a look, uh, is unfortunately not able to get the bouncy reverse people's room. Yeah, that's that's an, that's a kind of an unfortunate strat to miss, because you do just take all the time that you spent trying to um, do the reverse setup over just right. doing it normally. I've pretty much settled on calling it just bouncy people's room, not like bouncy taking people's. out their taking out the reverse part entirely. Look, I gotta come up with names for these things. I have to talk a lot about <laughs> them. <laughs> I, I, I like that strat name. Thank you. <laughs> it, it was. It's kind of like that one. I I don't want to take like full credit for that one. I feel like that was kind of a collaborative thing of like. Asking like after. what? Yeah, it was a team after of like what should I call this? Pe at people suggesting names around, and I eventually just settled on one. <laughs> uh, Dance is not even going to be going for it. I think that's very respectable for a race because he to my knowledge, it. He, oh he did. I, well, he was on top of the people. Game. He was on top of the people. He wasn't rolling. Right. Yeah, that's my bad. I just didn't see that. But he I think he bailed on it much sooner than Buster did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, lots of those small optimizations that we see more and more runners going for. Because not too long ago, that was like not even a not even a world record level strat, and now we see. Um, mid to low 57 runners doing it, which is quite interesting. I'm almost afraid to make my suggestion at this point. <laughs> 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 because I feel like Dance is at the point of the run where he just doesn't care he's abandoned it, so he absolutely will do it. <laughs> 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 Like, I can kind of see it in the way he's talking in chat. <laughs> he still wants to win, I'm sure, but it's just like... Oh, Buster's going for it. He's he's doing an early shop, so it looks like... Oh, no, no, they're both like going to do time. ICC. I was going to suggest set up, set up list ICC. Oh, set up list ICC. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Yeah, um, yeah, I knew both were going for ICC. Wow, is, is, is set up ICC, like, that common now? Yes. What have I done? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. I'm at, sorry, At least at the top level. At least at the top <laughs> level of the league, yeah. There's still parts of the league that don't go for it, mm -hmm. uh, but definitely in the playoffs here, we people, yeah, everyone's gone for it, I believe. 
Very interesting. Yeah, I'm always I'm always interested to see what movement people do for um, the crates moon at the beginning or the boxes moon or whatever it's called because there are yeah. just so many different movement variations for that. Mm -hmm. I didn't see what Dancer did, but it's always just a it's always one of the most interesting moons to watch for me, which is a little silly sounding because it's one of the most boring objectively. I understand it to some extent. Yeah. Yeah. It, it yeah definitely isn't like one that's gonna ruin a run or anything, but it is like what yeah what's I, a little bit of like what's their style for this? Yeah, because a lot with a lot of the movement in this game, you'll just see top runners doing like basic. I mean, obviously they're not going for all the same strats, but a lot of top runners will like just take cues from each other on what to do at this level of optimization. Yeah, Buster Doggy going for the setup. Yeah, has to kill the Goomba, so has to readjust. Nice. There it is. Nice first try. Always love to see clean icy season runs. Fumbling a little bit on the setup list. No big deal though. Not a not a big time loss at all. And FYI for for Cindy, instead of told you exactly what box movement they did. And uh, he did. <laughs> oh, the B oh, you did the BTT movement, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're, we're, we're gonna see if Dansta has similar luck here. Mm -hmm. Okay, also going for the setup. Nice! Yes. Seeing, seeing first try ICC from both runners is very, very... Um, trying not to reuse the same words like 20 times. <laughs> it's nice to see. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's, that's good. I, it is actually one of the advice I, I give to, play, uh, to commentators is... I, I mean, yeah, you, you try to not settle on too many words, like, saying the same word every time. I'd say it can get... it feels bad to do. Yeah, yeah. Anime, I see your... I see your question. I... Yeah, actually, no, this is a fine time to answer. Yeah, I'm very excited for Wonder. Yeah, it looks, it looks looks nice. Yeah, zooming through seaside here, one of the, one of the chiller kingdoms, but coming up on fish dip, which is like the main moment in the kingdom. And it looks like he's good, so yes. not much more to talk about. Yeah, Buster being very careful not to clip back and bounce there. Yeah, yeah. to also hitting the, the up throw movement there. That was one of the... Honestly, that was one of my favorite movement segments in the game for a while. That up throw into the into the top, into the ceiling. You don't see stuff like that, like, all too often. Buster going to be finishing off Seaside here as Dansta is heading up to Fishtip. 
Chances also look good. Oh, mm -hmm. Halfway. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. We all held our breath. <laughs> <laughs> very, very relieved he did. Very, very relieved the game was gracious there. Yeah. Us are going to be heading into luncheon now, which in many in, in many ways can be seen as like the um, the wooded of late game, I suppose. But it, it has its own it has its own quirks. Uh, lots of lots of very intense strats going on here, including salt triple. Wow. I mean, wow, that's been in the game for. It's been in the run for years at this point. No, that was the joke. Yeah. Oh, I was like... <laughs> I'm sorry. <All> right. <laughs> uh, okay, I missed the sarcasm. My bad. <laughs> Both runners, I I mean, I presume, going to be going for Spiritless here. Buster hitting the jump. Very clean. And this is what I love so much about lunch, and you can always anticipate like some insane movement coming up. Like here, we we're probably going to be seeing him attempting forklifts. Can be rolling up here. Okay, missing the RCB, but no big deal because he backed it up very well. Yeah, I was a very clean backup. And this is what you were talking about earlier, like when there are five slots, it can be significantly harder to hit all of them. Oh, that's a cool strategy. He, d he just did it. He buffered. Well, buffered is a strong word to use there, but he did an early spin throw and then just long jumped. Yeah, I, don't, so they, I don't know if I've seen that before. That might have been the Gur uh, the Gurria strat for that room. Oh, I see. I forget exactly what he does, but I, I, I know that his, his like... Oh, uh, Tyrone slot strat. It's, I'm pretty sure it's curious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really need to turn my phone off. <laughs> yeah, Dansta took some unfortunate damage at the at the start there, losing a couple seconds. And Buster either didn't go for or missed heart strat, so also gonna didn't be taking... go for it. Oh gotcha, okay. Oh, oh a buster no. bonking on the end there might be able to capture a fork on the way down. Okay, he is able to recover. No okay. death from it, but wow. Yeah, even the simplest things like that, even even in such a technical kingdom like this, even the simplest things like that can lead you in a race. Both runners keeping their head up, though, in this highly, highly challenging kingdom. Solid turnip movement from Buster. Absolutely. Ansta is going to be going for the heart and gets it. Very cool strategy. Going to be saving him the damage refill at the end. Buster heading up to the block jump here. 
perfect, perfectly fine. Nice. Yeah, that's that's another big opportunity for a death. I don't think it's. I think you would respawn outside of shop if you were to die there. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. So not like the hugest time loss in the world, but definitely something that's uh, a little demotivating to mess up. I have seen it mess up people's movement though before, of dying there and then they'll like like attempt to do box moon on top of the shop again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's like... muscle memory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Buster, Buster wow. doing a triple jump up into yeah, the timeline. Yeah, timed the triple jump to be right where they needed it. Very nice. And Dance to going into block jump here as well. Going for a spin just to be safe. Perfectly fine. Respectable, nice to see yeah. that from both runners. Yeah, Buster having a pretty clean luncheon overall, as far as I'm aware. And then Buster going to be heading into Ruined, which is everyone's favorite auto-scroller kingdom, as Dansta heads up to Block Jump. Or, not Block Jump, Timer. We, do, we don't have two Block Jumps in Luncheon. That would be, <laughs> that would be very bad. Yes. Nice Toad Henart. Yeah, always, always love to do that. I'll be interested to see if Buster does any crazy down throw stuff on these. Oh, he's already doing it. Okay. <laughs> I, I always love watching uh, Joy-Con runners doing ruined. What's your saying? Sure, why not? <laughs> on 2DSS. <laughs> You wonder if these runners are taking this seriously or not sometimes. You you really do. You actually don't know sometimes. It's it's so funny. Buster missing a jump on the last phase of Ruin, but really not going to be consequential at all. I know they are to an extent, because I, I haven't seen it. I have seen 2DSS temps until, uh, uh, like, done for a while, but I have, what I usually do see is, like, 2DSS attempts until they know that, like, that they know that the other runner might be catching up soon. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, they're very close behind. I should probably stop trying. Right. <laughs> yeah, that absolutely makes sense. That's a, that's probably one of the heaviest cost benefit, uh, thinking spots in the run, because it does save like a a pretty decent chunk and. These, these, uh, high level runners have gone a very consistent. I mean, when I say very consistent, I mean relative to how the strat was before. Yeah.
but yeah, it's ins- is a ridiculous strategy. And yeah, it's the- insane how much two DSS used to be like a meme in these races, and now it's like actually a thing that is very possible. Yeah, for these runners to be hitting, it's it's cool. It's just the standard keeps, you know, the bar keeps getting raised. That's what that's what speed running is all about. Mm-hmm. Very clean uh, beginning of Bunny's movement here from Buster. shards coming out all from right Buster. i was i was wondering if we'd see yes. it that it is go. that's awesome that's one of the that's one of the cooler joy con moments in this run yes probably the coolest joy con moment yeah Yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to echo what Saren said there. Uh, very cool to see the support for Odyssey on this channel. And yeah, in some ways I'll return the thanks to, uh, to Saren. Thank you for holding these events. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> These uh, tournaments like this are one of the coolest ways um, to to see this kind of top level gameplay, and also for like the open tournaments to to get involved in SMO further. If you um, if you have like an interme- intermediate PB and you're looking for more ways to get involved in the community, it just really really helps uh, connect people. It's awesome. I believe Buster pulled off a successful Sarbana there, but I'm not yeah. 100% sure. All right. Cool. Yes. And yeah. Buster finishing off a very nice bunny, so I don't think there were really any mistakes in that. Dansta also going to be going for the strat. Looks like that's a- yeah, that's an- that's an instant hit. Nice. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, it's- it's always- it's always very cool when it happens. Interested to see if Buster goes for Pipeless, although I feel like for a race... Set up for it. Nope, he set okay. up for it. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's that's in, that's quite interesting to see in a race, because yeah. I've seen lots of top-level runs end there, just because of how risky right. that strat is, especially with nerves. Apparently Buster got the first person glitch in Harriet, in, or Dansta got the first person glitch in Harriet. I actually don't know what that is. Do, do, do you know? I don't think so. 
Interesting. I'll have to- I'll have to do some research later. You always get the insta-hit for Sarvama? He's just too crack guys. Okay. <laughs> He's just insane at the game. That is actually interesting to know though. I wasn't I wasn't aware that uh, different strats can make that difference. No pipe list from Dansta. Yeah, very respectable. Alright. Um, well, I would say new TA from Buster, but I'm not sure how new it is anymore. <laughs> it's newer than the other strat. It's tr very true. <laughs> yeah. Nice mech from Buster. Dance are gonna be... Heading up here. Yeah, it seems it seems this this race settled a little bit more in the second half, but it's still been yeah. still been very fun to watch nonetheless. There were there were many <laughs> there were many different emotions going on in the in the first five kingdoms or so. Yeah. I think dance just kind of just accepted what's going on at this point. Yeah, absolutely. There's a certain point in the race where it's just like, all right. Let's just <laughs> let's just do this as best as we can, you know. First person glitch is the last frame before the cutscene starts. Very cool. Dance is glitching. Yeah, no glitches are <laughs> allowed in this in this in this tournament. Have you ever seen the uh, Mirror's Edge GDQ video? That was like that's like the um, glitchless run where the entire time one of the commentators is like, "Isn't it, didn't you do a glitch there?" It's it's awesome. I th yeah, I think I've seen that one. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> I feel like it's why, like, a lot of, at this point, like, I think glitchless has become less of a category I've seen in a lot of speed games. It's more either no major glitches or no out of bounds. That's the only two I usually see. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, it's too hard to specify what is and isn't a glitch. Otherwise, it's yeah. just like, we're just going to ban these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glitchless has become kind of impossible to regulate. Yes, I've heard the arguments before of doing some form of a glitchless run for SMN, but it just no one none of the runners wanna do it. <laughs> yeah. It's just I mean there's there are so many discrepancies and different types of um like ways to abuse the mechanics of this game that like a definition of a glitchless run would just be so difficult to agree on well in the same vein as what i was saying before there's the what aspen and the chat set up doing uh no no out of bounds oh yeah no out of bounds could be interesting um Although I, f I feel, I feel that that wouldn't be too different. Although I'm yeah, exactly. Gonna... That, that's the same yeah, idea. Not... It's like it's, it's not different enough to excite any of the runners. Yeah, like if you wanted to, 
it, it, it gets tricky when you want to make a category that's, like, brand new, you know? Yeah. Oh no, we're talking about SM64 in the chat. Wrong, wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 2DS attempts coming out for Buster Doggy now. There's one. Okay, let's try it. I'm not gonna count all of them. Don't worry. <laughs> second jump is like the the main yeah the main issue at hand. Yes, for right now it is. I, I believe I, I've heard from other runners. I, I think it was Dansta who, I think like second to last jump is their least favorite, not second oh. jump. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, that one. I think. Right. <laughs> the one that yeah, the one that Buster just failed. Uh, ended on there. Buster showcasing all the parts of this trick that we don't like. Yes. <laughs> Able to get right. it, okay. <laughs> getting it, you know what? I think that was like Thank six or seven minutes. tries. Getting it and staying ahead, I respect it. Yes. Dansta asked for it, received it, and as Dansta actually expected, did not really help enough, <laughs> unfortunately. 11th try, according to chat, who was actually counting, okay. Incredible, thank you, chat. I could count, it just makes for very boring commentary. So right, I'm of just... course. <laughs> <laughs> After like three, it's like, okay, we, yeah. We, we know what numbers are, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh, we Dan's taking the death! Oh, unfortunate. Deaths and escape are always painful. It does respawn you back at the beginning every time. That is the risk with 2DSS. Yeah, Buster Doggy gonna be coming out with the sub hour, 59.24 on the timer, and we'll be moving on to the finals. Very nice. GG's to both runners. Yeah. I will say, this also this is the last that we'll see of Dansta. There is a bronze match. Oh, yeah. Gonna get another death from Dansta on the on the 2DSS. Yeah, that's why. I feel like I... Dansta's kind of just on that mode of like, why can't I hit this right now? And yeah. it's just gonna keep going for it. Yeah. Yeah, I I would. I mean, I'm no 2DSS expert, but I would assume that's one of the other annoying things about second jump is you have momentum going to the left, and um, there's a very real possibility that you can that you can die like that if, if you don't turn around in time. Right. All right. There Able we go. to get it. Yeah. Very nice. We did see uh, we did see a successful 2DSS from both runners. So. Yes. Ninth try, according to chat. Thank you, Pro Pro, for counting both times. <laughs> this is this is the kind of, these are the kind of stats you get exclusively in in, in chat. Yeah. I mean, they are counted in the sheet just after. Oh. The oh, okay. If you just scroll <laughs> down, anyway. if you just scroll down on the on the stat sheet there. On that, uh, if you go to the head to head tab that you, I think you were on, I told you to go there. Right. Okay. If you scroll down, there's the tricks. So, yeah, yeah that's, um, that, that's from previous races, not from this race. Mm -hmm. That is, that is very cool. 
Shout out to Stats people. Yes. Great people. Alright, Dennis is gonna be finishing off with 101. GG's. Again, that 101. 53. That was. That was something. I think. Um. That yeah. was that was Odyssey. <laughs> we that can was... just go into interviews. I'm gonna be rambling anyway. <laughs> that was Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for, for my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well we got both players here. Uh so yeah. Welcome. Uh GG's to both. Congratulations, Buster Doggy. Thank you, GG's Dance to GG. Actually, not like my game wasn't good, but yeah. <laughs> I think we both played awful for people. This was atrocious, absolutely horrible. Like Dude. since the first jump in Cap, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were we we were definitely off to a rocky start. By far the best part of my run was Bowser's. I only lost five seconds to my goals there. So that was nice. it. But other than that, like nice. 18 in Cap, 20 in Cascade, 15 in Sand, 35 in uh, Wooded, 30 in Lost. <laughs> Do you go for Pipeless? Do you go for Pipeless in your Bowser's gold? Uh, yes. Okay. So that's where. So actually, not including that here. Pretty much. You're pretty close to it. Yeah, I know. Like, as I said, Bowser was good, but other than that, everything is pretty much shit. The, the horrible thing is, I, I, I went into Moon with a 10002 PPT. I was like, how is this almost so hard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like some of the things I was thinking about, like at the start. It's like, well, you got Buster messing up left side, and you got Dan stuff dying in Cap Kingdom, but like both of these still have decent BPTs go uh, BTTs going on because well, it's yeah, just one, one kingdom. One mistake <laughs> yeah. doesn't matter, but like if I lose thirty seconds in like five kingdoms, that's <laughs> yeah. I don't know why this is yeah. an hour. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, how, how does this end up getting some hours still yeah. in the end? It doesn't make sense. I, I swear to God, it does not, it. It, it really doesn't make sense. Because when you <laughs> first get it really when, doesn't. When, when you first get smarter, it's so difficult. And then, I know, then, right? Now at our level, it's like, oh yeah, we can just like completely bully mess up and somehow it's still better than that good time yeah. that I used to get. Like, it doesn't make Literally. sense. It, it's just the same. It, it's just the case of every minute barrier, I think. It's just like, once you get past yeah. it, it's easy. Uh, don't tell that to my 57. Fair. <laughs> Is that still your only one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh, no. At least no, you got it. At least you got it. 157. No, at least you got it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course. All right. Well, you're gonna be moving on to the bronze match, Dansta. This is still the best I've done in any league, so I'm going for yeah, it. exactly. Yeah, we're always glad to hear that. And yeah, we'll be seeing who you'll be facing momentarily. That race is right after this one. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, any final words before we move on to break and get over to preparing for that one? Uh, no, this game okay, is mean. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. this game is very mean. <laughs> it is a mean game. Yes, that was that. Honestly, this race definitely <laughs> showed that much. <laughs> that that was our main conclusion today. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, in just a little bit, we're going to be heading over to, I think, Jambo versus EGR. Yep. And uh, I'm going to be heading out, but Troy is going to be sticking around. So. I mean, that's going to be, a, that's also going to be a great semifinals match. I mean, yes, this one had some, had some more mistakes than I thought it would have, unfortunately. <laughs> but it still was fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for me. All right. Well, good both. Good luck to both of your uh, to you in.